I love when people say no shade when it be the shadiest cop. I love when people be like, no salt, but all the salt. I love when people be like, I'm not trying to be messy, but bye, Felicia. Just say what you got to say. Well, I can't go to like baby sections and stores and <sighs> babies are us. <laughs> oh my God. Look how cute it is. Oh. I need to get something. Well, that would be cute. I ain't buying as much drink this time though. Oh my gosh. I need somebody to have a baby again. Well, my cousin, he's, his girlfriend's having a baby. But still. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine if I had twinsies. My goodness. Yeah. I'm getting that sensation again. I get it every couple of years or so. I get baby fever. But then I look at how expensive babies are, and I'm not quite ready yet. So I know my, oh, it's a little bear. Oh, darling. Oh my God, it's a little bear and a bumblebee. Oh, it has bumblebees on that one too. <laughs> the sleeper rocks. Oh, all right, Fisher Price, you better have it coming up with that. I gotta get off the baby section. I came here for vitamins. This is where I'm at. Okay. 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 <gasps> Look how cute. I'm so extra. Oh. Well, that's cute for a baby's first birthday. But. Oh, darling. That's cute. I love little girl stuff. Little boys are a blessing in their own way. But um, I love little girl stuff. It's so darling. They have little bows, and flowers, and oh. That is so cute. Look at it. And this little leopard on there. Y'all know how I feel about leopard, first of all. So. Look at this is a preemie. Oh my god. I was a preemie baby So I have a soft spot for those. I know y'all like this little fat around. It was a preemie. I know shocking, right? <sighs> I gotta get out this section This old man is pimp walking across the street. You better not did that man. You better get your pimp walk on So I'm here uh, waiting to get my massage and it makes me miss working in the esthetician field a lot especially since my mom has gotten sick i've had to really um pull back and it's just like so calm in here like it's just like oh god i'm gonna fall asleep but look So I just came out of my massage. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. That massage was everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You never realize how much you need a massage until you haven't had a massage for a long time and then you get one. Oh. All the stress of this week and this past year have been on my back and... When I tell you I had knots in my back, like legit knots, I can't hold one eye open. <laughs> it's a it's a struggle, and I gotta drive to the nail shop because I just decided that you know I haven't been doing my normal spa days and stuff because I've been really focused on my mom. Oh God, it's a struggle to talk, Jesus. Oh God, <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, um, <laughs> this is what I do by myself, by the way. 
Um, but yeah, I, oh Jesus, thank you. But thanks to my sugar face, I got me a massage. And now I'm gonna just go get my nails done and a pedicure. I haven't got one of those in a long time, and try to get back in the groove of. Um, oh Lord, getting myself taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I gotta find my mama worker for real, for real, cause um. I ain't gonna make it if I don't. Jesus. Am I getting a fucking sty? You see how my eyes juicy right there? Oh, hell. God damn it, Kathleen. I'm like really um sensitive. My eyes are really sensitive. They get styes all the time. All the time. Like for no reason. I wash my pillowcases once a week. Um because I get so many styes. But anyway, though, I'm so off topic. Okay. Okay. I'm. A, I feel like it's hella late. What time is it? Okay. Yo, that massage hour went by so quick. Why is it that when you're enjoying something, it goes by like that? I literally just walked in there and I'm just like, it's over. I'm done. But yeah, my my nail appointment is at two. Look at me having nail appointments and shit. But um. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your um, weekend and your week. I'm probably going to get my nails done and go to sleep. Actually, because I'm going to feel fancy as fuck. Because the nail shop I go to, hunty, they be offering fucking eye glasses of Moscato, coffee, tea. Yes, let me get a glass of wine, honey, guys. But, um, over and out. <laughs> So I just finished my nail appointment and it's official. I am keeping stiletto nails in my life. <laughs> like I love them on my little fingers. They like make my little fingers look legit. Like I love that I have little hands and little arms and little feet because I'm little. I'm 5'3". I love every bit of being little and tall people love to help me. Just let me tell you. They're ecstatic to help me get shit up off the shelf. That's why I have some tall friends. I'm like, bitch, you... Get to get that off the shelf. Stop talking shit. Nah. But I love these nails. It's like a red. Glittery red. I don't know if you could tell. And um. A uh. Gray. Which is. I don't go by anybody's code. And then it's like. It's called liquid sand. So it's a matte gray glitter. I mean um. Gold glitter. It's super pretty. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not flipping you guys off, but I do the hands opposite clearly. But uh, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more. But um, you know how like it's dry on top, but under you scrape it and you got this situation. I'm gonna let that slide because she was like, "You, you good? Your nails are done." But they wasn't. So bye, Felicia. I have my random moments where I just talk or whatever the case may be. I just felt like talking. Okay. So let me tell you guys what's been going on these past couple days. So, as y'all know, my mom has kidney failure. <clears throat> and, you know, um, she has been in and out of the hospital a lot. She's been up and down her health. You know, just basically, um, you know, I've been having to be there a lot. You know, my dad's been having to, you know, he took off of work for a couple of days to be with her in the hospital kind of thing. So I could stay home with my brother and, you know, whatever the case may be. Yo, this time makes me think. Um, There's just some people in, not even in my life, because if they were there for me like that, they would be there. And at the same time, I feel like if you're not there during times like this, you are not my friend. Like, that's just keep it Gucci. If I can't call you and just talk to you and just... Like, get my mind off of things. You're not my friend. We're not friends. Because it's been so many times where I'm there for people. And I done been... God knows how many times I done just been there for people. In their time of need. When they needed me. Anything I had them. And when I needed them, they were gone. So, 
It just makes me think life is entirely too short to keep giving my time and energy to people who really don't give two flying fucks about me and are really selfish. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just like, it's not even a New Year's resolution. It's just a self respect thing where I'm just like, you know what? If you're not giving me your time, that's fine. But you will no longer get mines. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just started to feel like um, I'm 26. I'll be 27 in July. I do not have time to be playing with these old raggedy ass, selfish motherfuckers who act like their time is just so precious that they can't give it to me. But I'm giving them all the mines. Bye, Felicia. You gotta go. So, I don't know. I felt like saying that. Like, if you feel some type of way, it's probably you. But anyway... And there's nobody in particular that I'm talking about. I'm just like thinking about people who have come across my situation. You feel me? And I don't fuck with them like that. Or they haven't called me in weeks and months. and Or we haven't talked. And it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to keep doing all the extra. I'm a nice person, but it's only so much nice I'm going to give to you. It's only so much time you're going to get from me. Especially with my mama bear going through all her stuff. Honey, bye, sweetie. You can you can be gone. Um, But anyway, though, I'm not really even looking for new friends. It's just like if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I'll keep the people I have in my life I would rather have. The people who've been supporting me and there for me. And instead of, you know, people who just going to take, 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 you know, as I give, give. And I can no longer allow myself to do that. Because that does not benefit me at all. Like, not. But um, I'm going to go up to the hospital see my mama bear tomorrow. She's actually feeling better. Which is great. Thank you everybody for your prayers and positive energy. People who don't even know me praying for me. You feel me? And my mom. And my family. And that is a lot. That's a big deal to me. And I really, really, really do appreciate it. The people who follow me or like on Instagram or Facebook know that I post stuff about my mom. And just, you know, say nice things and positive things. So I really, 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 really do appreciate those things. Even if I don't respond, I do see them and I'm really appreciative. It's just like a lot going on and I don't necessarily, I my mind be somewhere else sometimes. So don't take it like I'm not responding. It's just... I'll be having a lot going on, but I do try to make sure I eventually respond because I don't want people to think that I don't care or don't appreciate it. But anyway, um, (laughs) I'm just over it. I'm like over people and I'm starting to get this thing where I'm starting not to like people. Is that bad? I think I'm just starting not to like people who are selfish and don't give a fuck and they get on my nerves but sometimes it'd be just people in general like if you breathe too hard around me i might be like why you gotta breathe so hard what's that for but that's only on certain days (laughs) that's rude that is rude of me to say such a thing but it's only on certain days and plus i don't be like you know ew don't breathe that's rude. Grammy over there tearing that chicken down. You see her? She was in the cut for a minute. <laughs> Grammy stay creeping. quickly say Merry Christmas everybody and Happy New Year just in case I don't make a video before then but um, spending time with my family and I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season um, I hope everybody's well um, I will be doing a lot more tutorials in the new year hence this is why I have so many palettes <laughs> but I just went through like a rampage of buying a bunch of palettes so I'm gonna be doing more tutorials and uh, I'm at my family's house, so it's like a lot of kids and foolishness in case you hear a lot of stuff in the background. 
But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on, and I hope everyone is well. And um, I will talk to you guys later. But yeah, I'll probably be doing a tutorial early January. Um, by the way, my mother is doing much better. She actually had three surgeries, which helped her um, feel a lot better, a lot. <laughs> I was so happy about that. So she's doing better. Um, she's going to have one of the catheters removed from her neck the end of January, early, I mean, end of uh, December, early January. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy she's feeling better and I'm happy things are going well. But thank you everyone for your prayers, positive energy, thoughts, concerns. Um, you guys are really positive, especially on Facebook and really concerned. And I really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, it's, it's much appreciated. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the day with my family. But uh, I hope you guys are well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.